Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. It was another hot day getting into the 90s today, but a cold front has moved through. That's where all the wind was. That's going to drop our temperature, not significantly, but back into the low to mid-80s, almost 10 degrees in some locations. Let's look at my 3-degree guarantee for the day today. Yesterday, we had 96. Today, my 3-degree guarantee was 89 and just barely made it with the dart there, right at the top of the dartboard at a 92. If I miss, remember, $66 goes to charity. Haven't had too many misses lately, mostly because we're in the summer months. Uh, but again, it was a little higher than I'd expect today due to a north wind coming down the mountains and warming up. Tomorrow, going to go back down to around 84 degrees. So cooler tomorrow than back into the upper 80s during the day on Sunday. It gets a little bit hotter. Here are the high temperatures across the rest of the region. 80 in McCall today. It was 92 in Twin. Had a wind gust over uh, 40, about 45 miles an hour in the Mountain Home area early today as a thunderstorm moved on through into the Magic Valley. It was 77 and dry in Stanley. 90 Ontario, and again, officially in Boise, it did hit 92 degrees. Mountain Home is at 94. Boise Valley Asthma and Allergy Clinic, pollen count at a 58. It is not in the low category. I forgot to change that. That's in the, in the moderate category, almost to the high category here, which would be at 60, and it is mostly pine and grass pollen. You get that from the Boise Valley Asthma and Allergy Clinic. You can go online to find out more about the different pollens that are in the air. Here's the cloud cover today that's pushing through. This will melt away overnight tonight, drifting over the Wood River Valley, but the most of the showers have been staying to the west and eastern Oregon, and I think that's going to be the trend as we move through the weekend. Here's our front. It's come through. Sustained winds last hour. You can see them right here at 25 in Boise, 18 amounts at home. We had gusts about 21. This front is running out of steam as it moves to the east, and that'll be the case, but we could still get some gusty winds moving into the Magic Valley. Might enhance a shower or two out of there, but everything, there's that shower right there around Wendell. It is weakening, but kind of hanging out over the same spot, so some rain falling there, and a red flag warning is in effect for the possibility of some fire spreading rapidly there in the southern and eastern Magic Valleys. Uh, Burley and Rupert included fire weather watch for eastern Idaho. It is the time of year for this certainly to happen. Rain showers continue to track to the north and melt away tomorrow. They'll redevelop again right here in eastern Oregon. But the future cast here through tomorrow shows that should be the case on Saturday. Staying to the west, some clouds over the Treasure Valley like today, dimming that sunshine. But on Sunday, notice the absence of clouds. I think we get more sunshine for Sunday. But with that jet stream so close by, Going to watch for the chance for isolated storms popping in the mountains of northwest Valley County. Cool and damp towards Oregon coast. It'll be real chilly, real hot temperatures to the east. And the only cool down we really get will be on Tuesday when that jet stream brings some cooler weather in. So tomorrow, the bottom line, dropping that temperature about 7, 8 degrees, uh, 84 to 87 in the uh, Treasure Valley tomorrow. Sunshine mixed with those high clouds from time to time. It'll be warm. Should be pretty pleasant. Nice in the west central mountains. A beautiful 71 in McCall. Garden Valley at 82. Could be a straight thunderstorm around Riggins, but I think Pine and Featherville, you'll have mostly sunny skies with some clouds and a temperature of 81. Great condition. Stanley Redfish Lake is going to be amazing this weekend. Temperatures in the 70s in the afternoon looks excellent there. And in the Magic Valley, 89 degrees and twin, 84 is shown. You should stay mostly sunny tomorrow. My precision extended forecast. The hotter, sunnier day will be Sunday, but Saturday is not going to be all that shabby either at 84 degrees with some high clouds dimming that sun, but we'll get some sunshine in there as well. And then we cool down Monday for the people who want to cool the weather. <laughs> and then it gets hot again, as you would expect. You're a good people pleaser. It's getting close here. I mean, this is the time of year for it. People yeah. want it. And the weekend is here. Yes. Uh, yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Scott.